Hello guys, here is a review of uh, my Matoran Congo and his motorcycle. I don't really know what to call the motorcycle. When I was, uh, when I first made it, I just called it the Congo Cycle. Okay. Um, right now there was a storm here. Power kept on going in and out and in and out, so I wanted to make a video earlier today, but it's like when I was just about to, then power went out. Uh, so now the generator's on and it's real loud, so I just turned on the radio and uh, to see if that would kind of block it out. I mean, plus, I'm really close to the thing. Okay, let's see. This review will probably be. Pretty long. Just warning you right now. Okay? Just warning you. Ah, his arm fell off. No. Okay, uh, hold on. I hate when these little pegs get stuck in their hands. It's annoying. I actually made Matoran a long time ago, but I'm just now starting to show them. So, uh, this is Congo. Uh, this is the basic design of a lot of my guys. I have like a bunch of different designs for a bunch of them. Uh, I started making Matoran uh, based off of Shadow Gears, a uh, design for Matoran, and then I just started making them taller, and then I made them a little bit, um, more advanced, because I'm pretty sure he already said that his were pretty simple. Uh, so, mine are a little bit harder. And actually, for one of my guys, I'm pretty sure it's, like, as many pieces as, the, as a guy that the Bionicle, comp that, that the Lego guys would make. I'm pretty sure it was like 60 pieces for just one little guy. It was crazy. Uh, okay, so. Eh, I don't really want to show him too much. I'll just put him back here. Make him say hi. Now, on to his bike. I pretty much just updated this guy. Actually, yeah, I just updated this guy yesterday. Uh, before, he did not have this little thing, and he did not have this part either. And it was just that. So, then I just updated uh, the motorcycle and the guy yesterday. You wouldn't know what they looked like either way, so I didn't know. Uh, let's see here. He has little weapons on the side which are detachable. You can put them in his hands, but then they can also go on the side. So then it's like when he's riding, like when somebody comes up from the side, then. So those are his two weapons. It's a little uh, saw blade from Montau. And then this is the Kongu's X. Space. What a coincidence! And then here, uh, let me just kind of, the, uh, yeah. When he's on the bike, then this part is on, is right by his ear when it's like this. So then he can, like, radio his, uh, team, and, like, tell them when he finished the mission, or, like, uh, when he needs backup or something. And then somehow, I don't really know, you can just flip it around and then it becomes a sniper. I don't, yeah, it's kind of weird. But it kind of makes sense a little bit because it looks all nice and everything. Sorry, that was just my computer. It's running out of power. And when then, right when the sniper comes in, pow! Hidden guns come up from the top part. The little, like, uh, mud flap here. I guess it's a mud flap, not really, it doesn't really cover it much. Then little guns 
just automatically come up. Dual little guns. Pew pew pew. Yeah. Only thing is this little front part wiggles around. Either. I can't really stop that from happening. But it's not like it'll wiggle all the time. You can get it to stay in one place. But you also can't get this to stay up. So let me see from the side. I think now you can see it better. Right? Yeah. You should at least. Uh, he has little handles here. Wheels, of course, but they're kind of big. And just a little part on the back here. Just to like, that's another like a little uh, mud flap, I guess. Uh, and then here he has Paraka feet on the side. And then a little Barak piece there. And then it's pretty nice how there's used to already be a hollow space here, so it's almost ingenious, because then I just put this in here. And I actually already had these little connectors here in the first place that were there for something else, but then I lost the two pieces, so then I just kept that there. And then later on, ta -da, put this on. So it looks really nice. Um, um, let me see, uh, this is actually very good, I think, in my opinion, considering I suck at making vehicles. I tried to one time, but it was pretty much just, I was trying to make my own version of the Jet Tracks network, so, yeah. And that thing looked horrible, it was so skinny and it was very hollow, and the thing just sucked. But now I actually have jet tracks. Oh, uh, I don't like it. Whatever. Yeah, I, I do like it, but I'm bored. So I think this is really good for my first time ever actually building a vehicle by myself. It has these handles and everything. Like uh, with just like with Lego, it has little things that hide on it, which they usually do when they have like a, some kind of set like that, like with the agents, that little car that that guy has, it has all this stuff that comes out that's all hidden. So, yeah, that was a review of Congo, or in Congo, I do not have a bigger version of him. Uh, that was just a review of Congo and his bike. So, bye bye. There will be more coming very soon. Probably right after I make this video, and I will probably make another one about my uh, Legos. And then I'm gonna, probably going to show my other uh, Matoran. So yeah, bye bye.